Hello. I am Basma Hassan. I am 15 years old. I am studying in STEM Sharkia. I'll talk about one of the most important theories in the world. It is the expansion of the universe. It is the continuous intergalactic distance in the universe as a result of its uniform motion. The idea of the expansion of the universe dates back to the first quarter of the 20th century. Adrian Hubble studied the lights of the cosmic galaxies and realized through them the expansion of the universe and its expansion constantly. There was evidence of the spacing of galaxies in the expansion of the universe. He also noticed that the more distant galaxies were, the faster and the closer they were, the less quickly they were to move away. From these observations, Hubble found a relationship between the speed of the galaxy and the distance separating it from us. A simple example to clarify the idea, if we brought flour, warm water, yeast, bread, raisins, and a glass container, then we mixed them in the glass container to make a coherent dough, then we spread the grains of raisins on the surface of the dough and left the dough until fermentation, given that the dough represented the universe and the grains of raisins represented galaxies, so we notice the expansion of the dough, which represents the expansion of the universe, and this leads to the separation of the grains of the raisins from each other over time, which represents the separation of galaxies from each other in the universe, and the increase in the distances between the grains of raisins represents the continuous expansion of the universe. Hubble's law The nature of the expansion of the universe is summed up in an equation known as the Hubble's law. This law states that the apparent velocity v of any galaxy moving away from the observer is directly proportional to the distance between them and its symbol d. Today, the proportionality constant is known as the Hubble constant and is denoted by the symbol h or h0. Hubble's law writes this way, v equals h0. d. The relationship between velocity v and distance d is called a linear relationship. Because if you put the measured values of velocities and distances for a sample of galaxies on a graph, as Hubble did, you will find that they lie on a straight line. The slope of this line is h0. Hubble's law essentially means that if there are two galaxies, one of which is two times farther from the observer than the other, the distant galaxy will move at twice the speed of the nearby galaxy, and if it falls three times the distance, it will move three times the speed. When the Big Bang Theory spread, Hubble's theory was its biggest supporter. We say that this theory and any theory is subject to change because science is always in renewal, 